Um, well, Ben, how are you feeling? Um, things move quick. Yeah. Um, so I remember just kind of training just as a little boy watching my heroes, Fev and Juddy play. So it hasn't really sunk in yet that I um, could be running out on the MCG for Carlton. And it's what I've wanted to do my whole life. So it hasn't really sunk in yet, but it's a pretty awesome feeling. And um, I guess what was the process like? I mean, throughout the year and, and up leading up to the draft? Yeah. I have a feeling that, you know, what, what did Dad let on? Yeah, well, Dad removed himself from my process. So I was left up to Stuka and Mick and the rest of the recruiting team. So, um, yeah, I had an inkling, but yeah, nothing was certain for throughout the whole year. So I had to wait till draft night like every other kid. But um, yeah, it was, I'm happy the process is over because it was long and stressful, um, especially waiting till pick 70. So. Yeah, I'm just happy to be here, really. So. Did you tell him, you know, perhaps you could have made it a bit easier for me? Yeah, you know, a bit of a chop out. Oh no, nah, he <laughs> he barely speaks to me. So, um, <laughs> no, nah, he just he he was just focused on getting Walsh in stock through the door, really. So he wasn't really giving me too much. Was so, so, for those that haven't seen you play, Ben, you're different to your dad. You're different to your brother. Yeah. Especially the kind of play that you're going to be at AFL level. Um, yeah, so I think I'm pretty versatile. I can play at both ends of the ground. So I'm a key position player, um, a lockdown defender or a lead up forward. So yeah, a little bit taller than Jack and Dad, but um, yeah, I just really want to make a name for myself and really build on the legacy that Dad and my nunu have um, uh, left here. So what is it from the old man after getting drafted? Um, I, I'd, not not like a, a message, but I just know what he expects of me. That's just to try hard, the training, every game, and just leave it all out there because it's a pretty awesome opportunity that I get. Not everyone gets this opportunity, so you might as well just leave it all out there because it doesn't last forever. What's the aim for year, for year one? Do you, is it realistic to say that you want to play senior footy? Um, I, yeah, I suppose. But I, I wouldn't expect that to be early in the season. Probably I'd love to get a, a, few, a pre season game in. That'd be an unbelievable experience. But yeah, this far, I'd 100% expect to come through the Northern Blues first and um, just build on my form and confidence through, through, the, through them. And um, hopefully, it'd be awesome to work my way into the senior team at some point this year. But we've, I think the list is getting stronger and stronger every year. So. I wouldn't be too disappointed if that happened because obviously the, the, we've got some of the best young players in the league and um, yeah, it's going to be tough for spots every week. Ben, I know you want to forge your own way and you will absolutely undoubtedly, but uh, some of the viewers and, and listeners will uh, see you tonight and think you're a striking resemblance of your dad. I know Jack's got similarities as well, but is that the family sort of uh, view that you're the uh, most the most look alike, I guess? Um, Oh yeah, I, th I think when Dad first came here, him and I were a similar build and we look pretty similar even now. But um, yeah, I think my younger brother Tommy's just a, a mirror image of my old man at this stage, not quite me. That's all right though. So Finbar, you might be the first Finbar in Carlton Colours. Um, tell us what you, you bring and the type of player you are. You've uh, just a bit of footy in the last few years. Yeah, I think just coming back, um, it's good to be back playing footy, but I think I bring a bit of, uh, yeah, a bit of zip on the forward line, kick, uh, not a bad mark. So, yeah, hopefully, help the boys. It's, yeah, good culture and just work to improve, which would be good. Talk us through your growth for a couple of years ago. You went from a yeah, half I was, forward flanker to a ruckman. Oh, months. wouldn't even say half forward flanker. I'd say more of a pocket, and yeah, just rotating off the bench was my job. But um, yeah, more of a bigger man now, and yeah, key position. Which how, is good. How much did you grow in that four months? Oh, I'd say about 10 centimetres or something, yeah. Did that have bring problems with the back or did you grow up? Yeah, I think uh, quick growth, muscles weren't really keeping me up, so a few injuries and uh, bones weren't as strong, so they were breaking pretty easily, but no, nah, but now it's pretty good, back on the track and yeah, ready to hit it hard. Fully fit? Uh, yeah. After today, I'm not too too fully <laughs> fit, but close enough. I mean, just on your studies, I was told that you're a really keen student, a really diligent student. I know all the draft are, but did you make a conscious decision this year to 
really make sure you concentrate on year 12 as well as the TSC Cup side of things? Um, well, I think that was more mum and dad. I think if I was, wasn't doing too well at school, they'd pull me out of footy for a little bit until I got my marks back on track. So I didn't really want that to happen. So just had to keep working through um, school, getting decent marks, and I guess I'd uh, keep being able to play footy. So I didn't want to upset my parents. They're pretty scary people. What do you want to study? I'm hoping commerce or business degree. I'm not really too sure what I want to do once I'll, I'll study part time while I'm playing here. But um, yeah, once this is done, I'm not too sure what I want to do yet. But that'll come, I'm sure. Is this sibling rivalry going to be alive and well at training if you get lined up as a back on on Jack as a forward? Oh yeah, it'd be good to beat him. But um, I, you got to bring that competitive nature against every opponent you play against. So you back yourself in one on one against the other brother. Yes and no, he can have it for now, I reckon he's just got a little bit of strength and fitness on me, but yeah, I'll be hoping to take the title off him pretty soon. Just tell us a bit about that competitive spirit, is there a famous family story that resonates in terms of that, you guys going out from early age? Oh, there's not, there's not really a famous story, but um, Jack, Jack and I, like any other brother, and even my little brother Tommy, we always wanted to beat each other, whether that be video games, basketball, any other sports, so I guess that that competitive nature and rivalry we we bring into our footy as well. But um, yeah, there's not there's not one single story that really stands out to me. But yeah, every time we go out to play basketball or whatever, it's probably the most intense backyard basketball games you'll see. What size are you, are you Benny? Sixteen. <laughs> are they specially made or? You... <laughs> no, nah, the. Um, the club actually gets them. I'm not. They've got a few other big feet in the club, so that's lucky because I don't know where else I'd be able to get them. 